Okay, so I've decided I'm going to record these little messages every day. So the very few friends I have on Facebook um, are, have this issue in their face until they delete me. But um, I should really try and make more friends so that I have people to listen to my videos. <laughs> of course, that's the only reason you would. But um, I, I just feel like we, we can't go back to normal and ignore the fact that we have um, our leadership of most governments in the world um, creating this massive future of terror and not only killing people en masse every day and going to sleep at night like it's completely normal because a bunch of guys in history got together and made rules of war and killing and death so they could continue to steal countries kind of legally, kind of fairly, and they could continue to kill kind of legally, kind of fairly. Um, you know, we, we all know and criminal law totally defines uh, killing as wrong and illegal. So I don't accept anymore. I don't accept to not say anything about the fact that our leadership, the people in charge of our tax budgets, um, the people who are supposed to Cr uh, create a, 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 or set an example about life and living, create a future that provides dignity to their citizens and um, and a better way of life. I don't accept that they are killing um, without accountability. So I have been thinking a lot, what can we do about it? So I was speaking to children, I said this in my video yesterday, we definitely need to have a dance for peace and um, totally engage the opposite energy to what is going on um, and preferably stage those dances outside the parliament so that the warmongering leadership can't get back in to do their job because their entire parliament is surrounded by dancing children who want a better future, which is totally understandable and logical and makes a lot more sense than the, the uh, mentality of our insane mass murdering leaders right now um, who are chasing this fictional enemy. You know, there's the Guardian article that firmly states that France have been funding insurgents in Syria. Then Syrian Girl posts an, a, an article today showing what those moderate insurgents are doing in Syria, videos of them beheading children. I'm sorry, I had a friend the other day, he's going to not be happy with me. Um, but, you know, like crying out about the 10 children who were crushed in Syria. And I'm like, come on, you're Moroccan, you are Muslim. Why are you not crying out every single day for the children being killed in Syria? And why are you not looking at the political elements that surround this issue, which is, oh my God, he's not going to be happy. <laughs> um, which is the fact, you know, examples like this, which is children being beheaded. Um, by the moderate rebels, which are most likely funded by France and the US and, you know, the NATO forces, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this is empire building. They are playing a theatre with our lives. Another friend to me said, said to me, I want to believe in Hollywood stories. It's absolutely true. It's like a Hollywood story what's happening. We are so... Um, I don't know what we are, but we are willing to accept mass murder and craziness. Um, as uh, the act of a lone madman when so clearly it is leading to billion dollar benefits from company owners and governments and that sort of thing. So um, apart from the dance off that doesn't let these bad politicians back to work, which is, you know, a lovely idea. Um, we absolutely need a, a law for peace. Um, I've spoken about this before. We need a law for peace that removes every single possible benefit of war from these um, commercial beneficiaries um, so that we are no longer encouraging a, a society of death because the richest people in the world are going to make more money from it. No one should profit of death. No one should profit of destruction of property, which is war. It, it's got to be stopped and if we can't change our politicians we have to surely put more restrictions on them that um, that an international body like the UN or the International Criminal Court can govern. Um, so that's obviously a longer term pro uh, project so what can we do now to stop these madmen doing more killing? I mean where, where are the people who are in our government or leadership that are so determined for peace that they're willing to stage a coup to get the killers out of government and to get uh, sanity restored to our societies where we're not going every day to kill en masse to ch chase this fictional, um, super branded 
um, insurgent group, and come on, I mean, there's a new insurgent group every day. It, it's like uh, every country or every uh, a mad individual who wants to empire build steel countries and gain control of oil fields and gas contracts is creating of uh, cha ch channeling funding to an, a new insurgent group um, who then give the reason for other nations to, like France, to go in and start bombing them. It's, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of beyond a joke. Um, I mean, I, I, d I don't have a, a sort of... <laughs> There's not a word for it, it, but what it is is violence, and that violence is coming back and affecting us on a daily basis now. And because, I, and I say on a daily basis because it's not just the terror attacks. Then it's the friendships that are destroyed by the differences of, of, of opinions, the people who come out really against entire races and religions and show themselves as, as um, sort of focused on racism, which is so sad because it's only the violent people within those groups. It's not those everyone of, of that ideology or that race. It's just the people who are willing to commit violence, whether voluntarily or whether they're paid to do it and set up to do it by those who then get to go in and profit by, by the billions of dollars off um, advancing this massive war machine. If we don't stop the military empire of, from growing, if we continue to accept these wars and the retaliations of more terror um, against, you know, aiming for one guy with a gun when obviously around him are 20 other people who are innocent and so many children. My heart bleeds for those children. I, I've watched videos that have just made me cry so much where there's a, an older guy, like an elderly guy, looking at the, the bombs dropping and just screaming, you know, where, where is God? Where, how can you do this to us? You, you know, where is your humanity? And it's so true. And I take responsibility for that because that's our governments and we do nothing to fight and stop them. Okay, we remember the, the mass protests against the Iraq war, but where are our mass protests now? There is none. We're letting them kill. We're letting them kill innocent people. When's it going to be us next? It already is through their terror attacks. But one day it could be bombs and guns. We have to try and stop this.